Hello everyone, Manny here, and today we're talking about gunner farming for caps, experience, at really whatever settlement you want. So this is kind of what we got set up going on here. We got about 20 gunner cages, they're all filled, but we're going to go on ahead and go through the magic. I just wanted you guys just to see uh, just how awesome this is going to turn out. Anyways, check it out, man. All right, so now that we have our arena set up, I went on ahead and put a small track on the outside so that way we could get some access to the top area up here. All right, now what I've done is I've put two sets of walls. Uh, well, I guess I've double walled the building. And the reason is that because we're gonna use rocket turrets to kill our gunners. That way we don't have to come out of ammunition out of pocket. And it's just a lot easier to run the whole scenario. Uh, but because of that, all those explosions in the small areas tend to gonna throw all the loot everywhere. So we went on ahead and we double walled it. We might even triple wall it. I'm not really too sure. Hadn't decided yet. Uh, but for now, this is where it's at. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on ahead and put as many gunner cages as I can. Uh, then we'll come back and talk about the cost of some of this stuff. Right. Let's just walk through setup. Um, I've gone ahead and installed ourselves a power door on its own switch so that way we can lock the gunners inside keep any of our settlers from getting inside of there I also have my switch connected to my gunner cages although I don't think that's gonna be really that big of a problem but I just wanted the control uh, in here we got a wall pass-through unit uh, going to a conduit and then we just supplied uh, power to all the cages. You guys notice I had to make the cage a lot bigger. <laughs> and that's because I forgot how big these damn gunner cages were. So if you're wanting, because I think we've only had 20 cages here. So if you're wanting more than that, uh, you're probably going to need either a bigger settlement or just a uh, better use of your settlement budget. But this isn't bad. I think I can get down with this. I might take this one out. That looks good. Okay, so there's a few more things we need to do, but first off, we just wanted to get our gunners in here. That way we could get some uh, notions of what they are going to give us and maybe some experience. I just kind of want to see how it works. So uh, I'm going to do that, but we're not really done just yet. What I want to do next is set up some shops, man, because like, the gunners come with a whole bunch of goodies and you're going to want to be able to take advantage of that stuff. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of, of a shops area set up and then we'll see how this actually works. All right, we got about 18, I believe, 18, 19 cages, something like that, because uh, a few of them are filled, a few of them aren't. But I really am interested to see what uh, it's going to do for us. It took... I want to say about three days to fill all the cages. Now, I was sleeping and stuff, but 
you really don't have to do that. I do believe the point of this is to have something a little extra waiting for you at home every time you come back to your settlement, which to me honestly sounds pretty damn badass, especially since um, the, the gunners, they don't interact with the settlers like if they don't see them let me see if i can keep myself uh stealth while we do this all right i have switches and stuff but let's go ahead and let them out and see what happens oh that one's closed there we go <laughs> what's wrong indeed gentlemen Jeez, but finding all the loot might be a bit of pain. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, there's still some guys alive down there? No, oh, looks like we're gonna have to go in sanitizing. So maybe we need our... Wow. <laughs> All right, so there's one in here. There's a gunner lieutenant, and he is... Oh, he's stuck inside his cage. Okay. And look, man, there's a guy back there. Wow. All right, let's grab him, man, and see what all we got. Oh, shit. I got a bunch of stuff on me, so that isn't going to work. Uh... So what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some crates down and then we're going to go on ahead and separate all their gear just to see how much good stuff we had. And then we're going to take that stuff over to our uh, sales area and see what kind of money we can get for it. Then I'm going to reload, try it in survival mode and see what the experience is like. Guys, look like we got ourselves a full house, man. Uh, it's gonna get hectic. Uh, watch your companion because they can push you off these ledges. I should have had some more safety railing up here, but as I said, it's gonna get hectic. <laughs> I like this. Like a little bitty of a, a little bitty mini game. Man, Fat Man reloads so damn slow. I did not realize that. Well, I've never used Fat Man. I should just kill him with my rifle. Oh, shit, I didn't die this time. Alright, let's get in there, man. Up. Snuggle ain't doing nothing for us. What's up? What's up? Who ready? Who ready? Well, what are you? Is that a gunner brigadier oh he's flipping cloaked isn't he man so like i said you get like all types man all types and <laughs> most of the time they come naked for some reason i don't i don't get that uh wow brigadier gunners man look at all that good stuff and I'd imagine we'll get even better stuff than we did the last time we did this. So, shit, man, awesome. I just, I probably need to find a cleaner way to kill them. Uh, or just become better with Fat Man. Alright, so, the next stop, survival mode. Alright, guys, we're in survival mode. Uh, we are level 82. I don't think it tells me how much experience I have before the next level up. Well, I have no experience right now, so let's try it. I know this isn't the most. Yes, we know that they're disabled. <laughs> it is survival mode. You better stay down there, snuggle. All right, so let's see what happens in survival mode. We're still gonna work fat, man, because shit, man, why not? Even though we're dead already. I mean, wow. Is it over? Damn, we got lucky. <laughs> we got, I mean, we got seriously lucky. I did not want to die. If 
fall damage like I have been doing a good bit lately. Alright, let's check it out. First, let's check the experience. Holy shit, that's a lot of experience. Wow. Wow, man. The hell with the loot. Whoa, did his body just disappear? Or did he just become the... Yeah, I think he just became the, uh, the chum pile. Yeah, he just became a chum pile. Wow, man. Sergeants, lieutenants. <laughs> Naked bros. Don't get it. Don't want to. <laughs> that, that is amazing, man. All right. Uh, I guess we could try it again, but that seems pretty damn conclusive. So you get tons of weapons and armor from the guys uh, inside of the cages. You get tons of experience in survival mode. In in normal mode, it honestly didn't seem worth it to kill them yourself. Um, I'm just going to be straight up with that. I would have went with the rock turrets because you weren't getting that much experience. But, I mean, we're level 82. And we, we almost leveled up out here, man. <laughs> yes, welcome back. All right, so we got our two containers. Let's just take a look. We ended up with a decent amount of weapons, but a lot of them kind of suck. But in the armor chest, man, that's primarily, I think, where the money's going to be coming from. Uh, what I like to do is I just like to grab me one of my trunks and then I'll run it out to uh, the sales zone. I don't like having the settlers near this. In fact, this probably wouldn't be my primary uh, settlement to want to do this at, but it is rather large. So I guess that helps. All right, looks like none of my vendors are up yet, so I'm going to post up for a minute, and then I'll see you guys when they finally get to work. Here, I have broke myself. I think I'm at about a, a, hundred, a hundred caps. Yeah, about 130-something caps. I kept making shops and then deleting them. Yeah, it sucked. Okay, so let's start at the weapons trader. Hey. If you need a weapon, you've come to the right place. Now, the amount you guys will get will be based on your ranks of cap collector, of course. And I've invested in these shops. That way they have a little bit more. Uh, just so that way I could sell more. So let's see how much we can get. Okay, I got 19 caps. So the things that were actually mine, uh, I'm going to keep. Uh, okay, so we made about 953, but she couldn't take it all. So let's just back out a few. Uh, man, I know this is going to be hard. All right, we'll give her a break. 24, okay. So we made about 700 hey caps so far. Let's see what you sure, have. Sure, man. Here's what I've got. Okay, let's get the rest of our weapons out. Got some knuckles, a laser pistol. Okay, now, here's where I think the money's going to come from. So, we've got these combat armor chest pieces. That's not really that much. couple of helmets. Uh, and actually, this is a really good way to get that stuff. All right, we'll give her a break. Let's go over here. Man, we really don't have too many to shops. Diamond City one of these days. I'll bet. The biggest town I ever saw. Yeah, Excuse hurry me. it up. Step right up. All the clothing fit to wear. I've yeah, I definitely don't think Here's we're going to have enough shops to sell off everything. We might have to get out there in those streets. But that's all right. Because this stuff's not really that expensive. What it'll be... And then, you know, you get a bunch of clothes. I got seven gunners with jeans. There it is. So there's 300 caps here. 78. Man. All right. I guess she's broke now. Let's see if we can get uh, some of the money back. Can we just give her something? Yeah, there we go. All right. We'll go check our bartender. Excuse me. Can I get you a drink? Yeah, sure. I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's what I've got. All right, let's see. Man, she's like broke. I guess I needed some more shops for this, but this is like old settlements, you know, guys. You guys know how that goes. 
Um, let's see what's left. Oh, jeez, let's not do it like that. So we've got two heavy right legs, um, some more heavy legs, a bunch of sturdy. We'll just do some adding at the end because obviously I was not prepared. Jeez, so man, we made mm, around 3,200, 3,300. Let's just be safe. And I could also sell these too because uh, that stuff didn't come from me. Only the militia hat did. So you can make a lot of caps doing this. And not only that, you can make a lot of caps consistently. So that's if you're looking for money. But normally you use money to buy junk. So let's go ahead and see what Scrapper Rank 3 Thanks does for, for us. To help. Oh, looks pretty cool, man. Lots of experience in survival mode, a decent experience in regular mode, but tons of weapons and tons of equipment to either sell or break down for scrap if you have the scrapper perk. So what do you guys think about the new gunner build? Uh, make sure you put what you think in the comments below. Special thanks to corporation member Alex Trev. Man, without you, I could never had done this. Your research was spot on brother spot on and made making the video a lot easier so if you guys get a chance make sure you thank him for his hard work and as always thanks for watching guys take care